Today, I will show you how to create a vertical header with a sidebar menu like this. And guess what? You don't need any coding for it. I'll do it step by step so you can easily follow along and create this sidebar in just a few minutes. Let's start by going to the WordPress dashboard. From there, hover over Templates and click on Theme Builder. As we're creating a menu today, select Header and access the Elementor page. Now that we're here, click on the plus icon to add a new container. In the settings on the left panel, set the container's width to full width. Then adjust the width to 200 pixels. This will give us a narrow vertical sidebar. For the height, set it to 100VH, which ensures it covers the full viewport height, filling the entire screen. Next, go to the advanced settings. Here you need to change the position from default to fixed. This will make sure the sidebar stays in place as you scroll down. Now, when you design the page, it's important to keep a padding of 200 pixels for the sidebar. So let's go to the Advanced tab and add 200 pixels of padding to the left. This prevents the main content from overlapping with the sidebar. We also need to set the sidebar Z-index. This controls the stacking order of elements on the page. So, setting a high value ensures that the sidebar stays on top of other content. Just look for the Z-index value here and set this to 999. Next, let's customize our sidebar a bit. Click on the main container, then go to the Style tab. We're going to add a background color to give the sidebar a clean look. Now, under Background Overlay, choose the color you want and adjust the opacity to 1 for a solid background. Once that's done, let's add the menu elements to the header. But before we do that, you need to understand one thing. Adding customizations like this can slow down even a new site and drive away visitors. So my team built this awesome free tool called Airlift, where you just have to put your site URL and it will optimize your entire website and give you a 90 plus page speed score without breaking your site. Their support is highly responsive. So if you face any issues, just raise a ticket and they will handle it. So try it out and share it with your friends because you will thank me later. Let's start with the search bar so your viewers can easily find what they're looking for on your website. Drag a search form widget from the widget panel and drop it into the container. Once added, change the skin to minimal and adjust the size using the settings on the left like this. Let's customize the search form a bit more. Just click on the style tab and here you can adjust the icon size, typography, and border radius to fit your design. Okay, so the menu looks a bit too close to the top of the page. So let's go to the Advanced tab and add some margin from the top to give it some breathing room. Next, let's add the other menu items. To do that, we'll use an icon list widget for this. Search for icon list in the widget panel and drag it below the search form and drop it onto the container. I'll delete the other two items from the list and just keep this one. Next, click on the icon to change it and add this for home. Now in the style tab, you can customize the icon's color, size and typography to match your theme. I'll go here and set the color to this and then change the text color here. Okay, now click on the main container again and go to the layout settings. Align the items to the center from here so everything is equally spaced out. Let's also duplicate this list item for the other menu options. Then change the icon and text for each menu option to what you need. Once you're done, it should look something like this. The items look too close right now, so go to the Style tab under List and adjust the spacing like this. Let's also use a hover effect on the menu items to show the buttons are interactive. So scroll down to the hover settings and click here. Now change the colors for both the icon and text like this. Next, I'll also add a support section where the viewers can access help and change settings. Let's drag a heading widget and add it below the menu. Go to the style tab and customize the heading like this. The heading is centered by default, but if you want, you can also align it to the left. Just go to the advanced tab and add some padding to the right like this. Now let's add another icon list for the support options. I'll skip the boring customization part and you can just follow the steps we did before. Once done, the menu will look something like this. Let's add social media icons. To do that, drag a social icons widget below the existing icon list. 
You can go to the Style tab and customize according to your needs. Finally, let's add a Call to Action CTA button so the viewers can convert easily. Just drag and drop the button widget into the container like this. I'll quickly change the color to this and add some border radius and a hover effect from here. Just open the navigator now and change the position of the CTA button. I want to add it above the social icons and done. Now adjust its margin from style and advanced tabs to ensure it stands out. Also don't forget to add some margin to the search form elements and the social icons to avoid overlapping. Okay, everything looks good, so let's save our work. Click on Publish to save the changes. You'll also have to set a condition from here. Just choose Entire Site to apply the header across all pages. If you want it on specific pages, you can change the condition to that particular page. Finally, click Save and Close to continue. Let's check out the main site to see how it looks. And yeah, it looks good to me. Comment below if you have any questions and I will help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really going to thank me for this. So click here and I will see you there.